welcome back today I will show you another simple program on how to use the Pythagorean theorem with your Windows console application the first thing you want to do is open a new project and select Win32 console application from the C++ I'll enter Pytho as the name you can enter anything you want under application settings you would want to select empty project once that's done, you can add new item and make sure you include the CPP file located here. I will call this Pytho as well. Once you have your blank screen, you can start typing. As always, you should always sign your program and give it a name. Pythagorean theorem. Okay. First thing you have to sharpen include a few things. I'll include IO stream and include math h. That's for the square root function. The Pythagorean theorem is the thing you see when you use two legs of a triangle to find the hypotenuse of a right triangle. The formula is a squared plus b squared equals to c squared. this is set up you can use either void main or int main I like using void main for this you don't use a semicolon here instead you open bracket here just in case you forget make sure you close it somewhere first thing you want to do is supply your variables for here I'll use float because it allows me to use decimal points integer doesn't I'll use a b c for a square plus b square equals to c square and we'll have a simple C out. This is where we'll ask the user to input the values of A and B. I like the yard to feet conversion, you have two values here. So here we'll see A and B. You have to cascade it twice and make sure you end it with a semicolon. Below that we'll have part of the formula. We'll say C equals to a times a, which is, which is also a squared, plus b times b. Just like a scientific calculator, it'll it will it'll multiply first and then add later on, and then you'll have c equals to sqrt. C as the square root of c. Make sure you end it with a semicolon. The sqrt is possible because you included math h up here. Once that's done, you do a c out. Let's say the hypotenuse of the triangle is C. And the ENDL is the end line. And once that's done, you can do a system pause. And you can run it, debug. I'm not sure why it's saying the system identifier is not found. I'm just going to copy something over, and I guess let me see if this works. It has the exact same thing. I think I have to restart the computer. But let's say 3 and 4, which is easy, and the triangle is 5. If you want to try it again, let's do 15 and 30. It's 33.541. Sounds about right. The hypotenuse. Well, this is pretty simple. Uh, it's a little bit more complex than the old yard to feet conversion, and it's still pretty good practice for beginners. I hope you enjoyed this video.